Hello YouTube, this is McNeil J1 and I'm here with um, a case and screen protector uh, in one for the iPod Touch second generation um, and it also fits the uh, third generation because that's the one that I've been using it in. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it but I think it's Sharkoshki or something like that. That's um, the brand name. Um, it's kit black and it's really nice so on the back it just shows an example of it and it says um, shock protection perfect fit all input access color traction cleats and screen protector so now I have already been opening up and I have already opened it up and been using it for quite a while and I really like this now I'm just going to show you what's inside of it Okay, so right here is that little this piece of cardboard with a fake iPod. Here is the front plate. And I don't know how well I can see it, but that those four white things are little feet that grab onto the ground and um, stop the case slash the iPod touch from getting scratched and gets good grip on it. Um, here's one of the back plates. The back plates are exactly the same. Um, they have the feet there and they're a little bit bigger but the only difference with this one is is it has a little stand that comes out so that you can when the iPod's in you can sit like that and watch a movie and then here's the other one get that out there we go there's the other one it's the exact same so it doesn't have that little stand okay so now I'll put the one oh, and it comes with a screen protector which originally comes in this but I have already put it on. I don't know if you can tell, but it feels really nice. And your hands don't get slippery like um, normally it does after like your hands kind of get sweaty. Um, here it says small rubber feet for front and large rubber feet for kickstand on non-stick or and non-kickstand for the back. And um, here it gives you a pink and a black extra one also just to show you it um, it comes already with the clear ones on and this was originally in a bag but um, it's a little key and I'll show you what that does later here is the instruction book it shows you how to put the screen protector and the feed on and everything not too important I never really use that unless I need to and it comes with a really nice clean cloth so now that I've already put on the screen protector um, I'll take the backing of this case. It's clear, and it's, which is nice for me because it says the size, and I have my full name and my address um, engraved onto it. So it, um, that's also an extra feature, so I can see that. So I'm just going to put that in. Now I'm going to take the top part, put it like this, and just click it in. There are six little tabs that hold it in. Um, one at each corner and one there and one there. It does have a little cutout for the iPhone, but on the package it says only for iPod Touch second generation. But as you can see, this is a third generation and it does fit. Um, yeah, so there's pads on the back, which are really nice. And there's pads on this side too. And I'll show you what it's like with the standout. So it's like that, so you could watch a movie like this. It's a douche of hazard. Here, I'll turn up the brightness a bit. Sorry about that. Um, and so then there's also this one. And the back, the little feet, you just squeeze them together and they pop out. Because on the one side, I'll take one out there, see? On the one side, it's bigger than the other. So you just kind of, you put the big side um, 
which is which is on touches the back of the iPod, and then the skinny part um, comes out and touches whatever's it like on the ground or whatever. And I'll show you what this key is for now. So on uh, you go to um, where all the clips are, and where all the clips are beside them, well for them, there's a little thing where you put the key into it. And you just kind of put that and push down, and it unlocks it. And then you do that for all four. Oh wait, I think there's only three. And then, I just have to make sure I got them all. And just the other two will hold it in that don't have those clips. And then um, it just comes out nicely. Um, it's really comfortable to hold on to, and um, this key was in a bag, but I lost the little bag that it was in, and so there's um, the feet for the front and back panels. You only can have it on um, one of these because there's not enough to have it on both back plates, so you can have uh, one color on one, one color on the other, and have um, you could have like one color on this one, one color on the back of that, and one color on the front. Um, overall, I like this case a lot. It's really comfy, and because um, where the feet are, um, my engravement is perfect right between those two. And you can see it says 32 gigabyte in this iPod Touch third generation. You can get to all your plugins really easily without having to take the case off. Volume's a lot easier in other cases I've used, and the power button is really easy to get to as well. I don't know what that's for because it can't be for the iPhone because it doesn't have the that um, small ringer button that the iPhone has. But um, as soon as I get about 110 to 100 subscribers, I'll, um, by the time that happens, I'll have a video on the Fring application of how to set it up to call people and uh, set it up so that someone can call you, like you can have your iPod get a phone number. So um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and favorite. Um, thank you. Bye.